Hi, Peter Charles here of Hooked for Life Fly Fishing. And I'd like to talk to you today about a brand new fly rod on the market. It's called the Asquith. It's produced by Loomis and Shimano in a collaborative effort. Uh, Loomis designed the fly rod. Uh, Shimano rolled a blank in their factory. And then Loomis finishes the rod uh, in their factory in uh, Woodland, Washington. Now, what this collaboration has done for us is to bring a revolutionary way of building fishing rod blanks. Up till now, uh, Shimano has been using a process called Spiral X on its high-end spinning rods and bait casting rods. Now this method is being applied to fly rods. Now, how this method is uh, produced is quite different from regular fly rods or fishing rods. A normal graphite rod has three flags of graphite run in two different directions. Uh, the Spiral X technology is something different. It uh, wraps something called infinity tape, which is a graphite tape, and it wraps that up the blank and then uh, adds a, a flag of something called muscle fiber, uh, which is also a graphite uh, construction, and then it wraps another wrap of infinity tape back down the blank, and that produces an X pattern on the blank. Now, what this does for us, as far as the fishing is concerned, is it produces a blank with a lot less material in it, so as a consequence, the blank is a lot lighter and it's a lot faster in recovery. It provides a much crisper action. And just to give you an idea of uh, the difference in uh, the way this uh, construction method uh, affects the amount of material, I'm going to contrast two rods here. I have the Asquith in a six weight, nine foot six weight, and I have a very high end Loomis rod, the NRX nine foot four weight. So this NRX is one of the lightest, most powerful four weights on the market. And yet, look, it's a narrower diameter blank than the six weight Asquith. That shows you how little material there is in the Asquith blank compared to a conventional construction. And nevertheless, they've done this without sacrificing any strength because that spiral wrap makes it much stronger. Now, there's another element to this as well, which is very interesting. Because of the spiral wrap, the tip section resists torsional twisting. Now you're going to say to yourself, big deal, so it doesn't twist as much. What does that mean? Well, it means that when we make a cast, you don't get any wobble in the tip. The tip tracks dead straight. And I, I found this out the minute I went out to cast. I mean, from right from the very first cast, I mean, the line just laid out dead straight. I went, wow. I mean, it really does work. It makes a difference. The other thing, of course, is that when you're casting a, this six-weight rod, it feels like a four-weight in your hands. And you're saying to yourself, you know, this is a six weight. I mean, it, it's, it's that light and the swing weight is that low. So you've got a rod that casts very lightly and because of that, you know, torsional rigidity, it tracks straight and it casts very accurately. So what was light to cast? Well, it's February, you know, it's Southern Ontario. The rivers are solid, the season is closed. So my best shot at casting, it was in the yard. Unfortunately, I couldn't take it fishing, but Nevertheless, it showed what the rod could do. Now, I'm a cast instructor. I get to cast a lot of different client rods. And there's a few out there, the high-end rods, high-performance rods, which aren't really that true to the rating. Uh, they're, you know, they cast a heavier line than what the rating says on the blank. So when I got this six-weight Asquith, I figured, well, let's give it a real test. I picked up my uh, Airflow Elite uh, trout line, which is a five-weight trout line, and I went out and cast it on the six-weight Asquith. Now, that was an amazing, amazing performance. You're putting a five-weight trout line, a standard trout line, an AFTMA accurate trout line, not an overweight one, and I put it on a six-weight six rod on the six-weight Asquith and gave it a whirl. And guess what? Not only did it cast short w very well w for accuracy, I mean, I could cast 20 feet accurately with it, but it could ask, also cast a pretty good distance. I was getting up to 70, 75 feet with it. Considering it's a light line for the rod, that's pretty damn good. I mean, I was surprised. I didn't expect to get anything close to that. And the Elite is not a heavy line at all. It's a standard trout line. Nevertheless, anything from short to long, it didn't matter. It worked. And not only that, it felt right for the rod. It felt like it was a five weight. So I thought, OK, fine. Let's try a six weight. Let's go to the other extreme. I put an Airflow uh, Distance Pro on, which is, uh, has a 56-foot head, and it's quite a heavy line. It's designed for distance casting. So I started cranking that one out, and the rod handled it beautifully as well. 
not only that, not only could I cast short for distance and sh cast accurately with that line, but I could carry the full head out of the guides, which is 56 foot long. I could carry the full head out of the guides and more and cast it for distance. Now I'm used to casting in my yard. I, I know the distances. I know that if the yarn hits the road, it's 100 feet. And guess what? The yarn was hitting the road. I mean, this rod can deliver distance. It can handle a heavy line. It can handle a light line. It can cast short. It can cast long. It can cast accurately at short ranges. It can cast accurately at long ranges. It doesn't matter. This is what the Spiral X technology does for you. I mean, it, it's, it's the real deal. It's a game changer. So if you really are in the mood for an, a superb rod that will really get the job done for you and never let you down, check out the Loomis Shimano Asquith.